slightly older than teenage years. But of course, the most exciting aspect of the festival, for those of you who've been there all these years, is the emergence of the pre, 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 pre Hasan Mir. And this is our Bakhtiyalak Abish Kishin. So, look around. Remember we told you there were going to be a lot of people here? And they've all been waiting on pins and needles on the edge of their seats to hear us, right? We have a large group. I think the largest group that we've had. Um, I, I might have to fight you, Mati, on the name. We're thinking of something like Ha ha hazamir. <laughs> We've been sort of toying around with how that sounds. It's easy to spell. Um, before we start, we want to say uh, a very deeply heartfelt thank you to Mati, to Marsha, to Danny for making this happen, for putting these kids on the map, for putting the importance of children singing on the map. And I can speak for Peter and tell you, and myself, and tell you that we are so honored to be put in this esteemed position and really take it very, very seriously. These are our future. These kids are your future as well. What's most amazing about this is that they have rehearsed four times. They rehearsed Monday morning, Monday afternoon, Tuesday morning, and Tuesday afternoon. We were scheduled for 45 minutes, and I don't have to tell you that we were really not able to use the full 45 minutes, <laughs> because until they got in, and we got settled, and we went to the bathroom, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So given that, you can imagine, we had four almost 45 minute rehearsals and we did more than just these songs because we did a lot of warm-ups and other songs for fun and that they did what they did what they're going to sing for you now in that short amount of time is nothing short of a miracle so we now will sing for you five songs we're going to start with one called uh, walk the walk and it's about the importance of making sure that your actions reflect the important talk that we all do, the study that we do, the mitzvot that we talk about doing, making sure that our walk, our actions reflect our talk.
want to ask uh, Adam Moss is going to join us on the violin or the fiddle on this, please. Also, one thing we wanted to mention is that these children um, worked very hard and take this very seriously in very large measure, of course, because you all believe in this. And they model what their adults do. We tell parents this all the time. Kids are us. So, you know, be the, be the person that you want your child to be. And here at this conference, the modeling that they see, the love and the devotion to this music is what you're seeing here. We don't have to cajole these children into singing. They want to sing. They want to be here. They want to do this. And it's a great testament to what you're doing here. So thank you, all of you, for what you do for them and for all of us. There's a, a song that many children sing when they're younger about, it's a Passover song, and I just am blocking it, about um, Pharaoh and, no, not that one, it's a kid's song, not the frog one. Yes, let my... this ridiculous exercise is to tell you that we decided that we wanted to write a different song. A song that did not make the Israelites into victims, but instead made them into people who were empowered to have a voice, to stand up for their rights. So, Thank you so much. We wanted to write a, a sort of a midrash, a song that's a midrash, that changes the whole feel so that, so that we can understand that we have rights as people, as Jews, that we can stand up tall and proud for what we believe in and the life that we want to live. So this song is called No, 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 No. And we did it last year. The children asked that we do it again. <laughs> Doing what 
anymore. No more screaming and yelling. No more screaming and yelling. No more slavery. No more screaming and yelling. No, 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 no. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what do you do?
piece is a setting of a most important prayer of the Shema. And we uh, present it to you this way. We first learned it as a teaching opportunity to talk about the importance of the prayer. And we offer it to you now, truly, as an opportunity, as a kahal, to pray together. Please feel free to let these children pray for you, or at some point when you hear the chorus again, feel free to join in. And we offer this with the utmost respect. but one of the most important missions that Peter and I have is to teach children songs about God, about Yah, about Hashem, and to bring God into everything that we do. It's okay to sing about food, it's okay to sing about holidays, and it's wonderful to sing about values, but after all, we are about one God. And so this is our last song for you is called God, God, God. And it might seem a little odd, I will tell you that we believe that one of the best ways to experience and breathe and live with and know God is through our five senses. So this song addresses hearing and seeing and smelling and tasting and touching. 